so you're playing Minecraft Java for the first time, and you realize you can't connect a controller. So what do you do? Well, you don't want to switch to Bedrock Edition because of, uh, well, it's Bedrock. So, here's how to connect a controller to Minecraft Java Edition. First, download the mod in the description. It's called Midnight Controls, and it adds controller support for Minecraft Java Edition. This is only for Fabric, so you'll need to install Fabric for this. But I'm sure you can find another controller mod for Forge. So once you put it in your mod folder, go to Options, Controls, and then next to Keybinds, it does this controller thing here. Now you could have your normal controls here, for example, Mode Controller. You could turn things like auto jump on and off. Now here's where you get to the controls. So what you want to do is get your controller and turn it on. Make sure it's connected with Bluetooth. I'm using an Xbox One controller. Now as you can see, I can move the controller about. Now controller bindings. Now you can set your controls. So I'm going to set it like this. And with your mods, you can add controller support for that. So, for example, you could make that for your randomizer if, if you have the mod enabled. So now you can go to your world. So I'll just go to the real craft SCP, which you should watch, by the way. And now I'm running around with a controller. So as you can see in the bottom, it does have the controls there. I could swap hands with that. But yeah, if I wanted to, now I could play with a controller. If you want to see how to increase your world height to over a thousand blocks in Minecraft Java Edition, watch this video here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and goodbye!